Hey, welcome back. I am super duper stoked for this one. This is something I've been wanting to do for months since I got my hands on this Oz Roosevelt. And this was serial number 10. You may have seen the video or in some of my Oz videos. I think maybe just the last one uh, that I had this one. And I was saying, and I've actually had in quite a few of my like kind of top knife videos and stuff. But I was saying like this would be one of my top, you know, maybe my top five favorite knives. If it, was, if it hadn't been used so much. It had been, it wasn't like destroyed or anything, but it definitely been carried quite a bit. Had some scratches on the blade. And uh, let me just get the uh, receipt out of here. Nice packaging job, Oz. Love the freaking people at Oz. Awesome. Freaking awesome. Always have this nice little handwritten note too. I think Jenna did all the communication through this, but let's see. So here it is. It's back. And uh, there's a list of the things that we did here on the restoration. So they opened up, I don't know, like 50 spa spots. And uh, yeah, cool. I can share this. Um, here are the things that I ended up doing. So quite a bit here. They did me a favor and did one extra thing since this was such like a historic, an Oz historic knife. They weren't planning on doing any refinishing of the blades, but I talked to them. <laughs> oh, sweet. Oh, I forgot. So this thing came to me and all the anno was taken off of the hardware. Oh man, and the pocket clip. That looks Freaking awesome. And the backspacer. Wow. Oh, man. They freaking knocked it out of the park. I mean, they built the original, right? So I figured if I have them, you know, put this back to 100% original spec. Check out the uh, Timascus on the clip. It's sweet looking. And this is exactly what it looks like in the Oz Roosevelt Museum. This is so cool. Look at that, number 10. And, oh, <laughs> dude, that looks so good. The hand rub blade is immaculate. I didn't have a lot. Oh, <laughs> they put a mirror polished edge on it. That's so sweet. Oh, guys, well done. Holy smokes, looks brand freaking new. Oh my God, it's so thin behind the edge. That is sweet, way better than I expected. I expected it to be good because it's Oz, but this thing looks brand new. Holy smokes. Wow. Um. This is amazing. There's that uh, original certificate of authenticity. Oh, so cool. Kraken Timascus clip. Dude, I love the backspacer too. Oh man, the action's perfect. And this is like pretty cool because this one is one of these originals that has the, um, uh, and it has kind of late lockup on it and stuff, right? These original ones are built a little differently than the new ones. Um, but it has, you know, the embedded, it doesn't have a um, removable lock bar insert. So it's embedded on the uh, detent ball. Oh, it's so perfect, perfectly centered. The action is so good. Oh my god. Sorry, I was hitting the lock bar on that. Which this old one seems to be a little more prone to uh, lock bar pressure than the new ones. I'm trying to remember if these old ones even have double detent balls. I can't remember now. Yeah, it does have two detent balls on there. Ah, oh, sweet. That is really satisfying. Wow. 
So yeah, this is just back to the original spec and what it was supposed to be. Oh man. Perfect block up and everything. <sighs> there are just some manufacturers that I've seen that stand out from the crowd. And Oz is really one of them, man. This is just another great example of what makes them stand out. Look at that freaking mirror polished blade. That is so cool. Mirror polished edge, sorry. Let me see if I can zoom in on that. It's going to be hard to focus on it, but... <laughs> oh, man. That is sweet. Gosh, you know, I've only had a handful of videos where I've been just kind of at a loss for words. I... Just so pleased and happy and glad to have restored this little piece of Oz history. This is uh, absolutely one of my favorite knives in my collection right now. <laughs> oh man, that is so sweet. It was really like, I was really lukewarm on it. I liked it. I was cool having it for making videos and just kind of seeing what it was like back in the day, but... This is, uh, this is pretty cool. I have to be, always be super transparent. There's a tiny bit of play in there. Not sure if it had that before. I may have to bring that up with them. I, I don't remember it being that way. Um, so that might be, that might warrant a conversation. Is it actually in the front here? Huh. No, it can't be. No. It's got to be back here. But aside from that, and I don't really care, it's not like I'm going to carry this, but... I may just uh, bring it up with them and see if they have any recommendations for fixing that. But that could that could definitely be a result of, you know, just having, uh, again, no removable lock bar insert in some wear over time or something. I don't know. Sweet. This, this one, when it came to me, had a different clip on it, but it had this original clip in the box, but it had been... I don't know, the anno had been changed or removed or something. The anno on, on all the hardware had been removed and it was really plain looking. This really makes it kind of a special knife. It just makes it interesting um, for it to look like this. Uh, you know, you take in the hand rub blade on top of that and it's like, yeah, this is a little special one. Uh, I don't know if you know this, and I don't think I really talked about it. Now I'm thinking about it. It's a fact I missed in my videos that some of these have lanyard holes. I think it was only the first 40 or 100 or, I don't know, something in less than the first 100, I believe, have lanyard holes. Probably just the first 40 or something. Um, and this is one of them. But, uh, yeah, fact I missed on my uh, videos about Oz. So, I don't know. I don't really have much more to say about this aside from... How awesome were these guys? <laughs> so I think that's it. Please, uh, please like, subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Take care.